very much. Uh, welcome to New Cafe a Financial Literacy class where we, we take farmers through uh, understanding basics of financial literacy. Uh, today, our main uh, topic of discussion is basically going to be uh, focused on savings. Um, uh, savings uh, in simple terms simply means uh, putting your current earnings aside to be able to meet your future needs. For example, if you're earning 100,000 on a if you earn 100,000 today, you can decide to ensure you can decide to say that I am putting 10,000 I'm putting 10,000 aside as my savings. So the 10,000 becomes your saving. So you're saving from your current earnings, that's your, the current money that you want today, you decided to put aside 10,000 to, to what? To, again, towards your savings. And then, as you already said, you need to be very, very clear to know why are you saving. It's not just a matter of saving without having any reason, basically, to be able to save. Now, you can actually be able to save for quite a number of reasons. And one of them would basically be your, I mean, your saving in order to meet your future, your future needs. You're saving in order to get out of what? Out of debt. You're saving in order, uh, in, 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 I mean, if you're sending for a particular event, for example, uh, you could be you could be a man, and then you're planning to you're planning to marry in the next three years, and then you decide to save now to ensure that you get a very special event that you want what you want to achieve. So it's a kind of a different uh, same reason why you say of course also to be able to start up um, a, a small kind of business you may, you may want and then uh, you may want to start up something in terms of uh, in terms of uh, business they say uh, putting aside this amount of money every month to be able to achieve um, achieve uh, achieve five million in the next number of years and that will actually be uh, that will allow, I'll be able to use it to start a small a small business to be sustainable. Now uh, of course uh, savings at, at the end of it all simply it's a sacrifice. It's basically a sacrifice which is very very hard for some of the people to be able to put aside money every day and yet you have immediate need that you want to fulfill at that very particular moment. But it's a discipline that you have to grow within you. It is not easy but over time you're not able to grow this discipline over you're not going to be able to put this thing of saving. You cannot save at once that you're really going to save today and then you're going to save all the money. No, because we understand that your, your, I mean, your earnings are really very small and then you can you may not be able to save five at once, but it is a process that you're not going to be able to save and you can actually do this over a period of time. People even save for a period of five to ten years based on exactly what they're saving for. So, so, so that's why you need to be very, very, uh, you need to be very keen to understand why you want to save and then how you can be able to save. And that it's not something that you do once, but rather something that you do over time. Now, uh, of course, uh, how do we, how do we basically, how do we basically save? I know it's a little very, very uh, difficult for people to, to, be, to save. That when the money gets into your pocket, to get that money out of your pocket is a little very, very difficult. That you're really able to, to, to start saving. Now, there are quite a number of other techni I mean, technologies that are coming up to simplify the way people save. There are already uh, issues to do with mobile payments where every month that there's really money that is deducted from your account to go towards a particular saving. So the moment you have money in your mobile money phone, which I'm very sure all of us want to see and you have, that uh, you're really putting, uh, you're really uh, getting that amount of money from your mobile money account to go into your savings account, maybe uh, with the group that you're saving with or with any kind of issue that, that you're saving with. You may also, uh, of course, you've also seen with banks that there is uh, what we call uh, a standing order. A standing order simply means uh, an instruction to the bank to remove money from your account at an agreed date to a particular pool where you want that money to go. For example, if you have uh, if you have a group where you save from, you can actually instruct the bank to say every 30th of the month remove hundred thousand from my account and put it into into this particular account. And the bank will do that for a period of time that you've agreed to with the, with the bank. Let's say the period of one year or six years, the bank will continuously do that. So that simply means it's not a, it's not really a pinch on you that you have to get the money again. So by the time you access your money, it is already less than what has already been saved. And that, and that a little bit um, relaxes the way that you really can be saving. It's really not that. And that's exactly the issue too, that you can actually be able to save. Yeah, so at, so at, at the end of the month, you go and access your money, and it's already less it's, it's less with the money which has already gone into your savings account. There are people who have a current account and some have a savings account, and instead of you drawing money from this account every month and putting it there, then you can simply instruct the bank to be picking money from your current account to 
your savings account on a monthly basis to be able to meet, uh, to meet your savings for a particular period of time. I uh, also want again us to, to, be, to take you through where can we be able to save uh, money. We have already uh, tried to look at that. Uh, we can actually be able to save money to find a number of the a number of ways. The most common one people basically do is just the what they call the joke boxes. That you have a box at home which is uh, which is locked, it's not open, and then you keep dropping your coin one by one. Every day you drop a hundred, every day you drop two hundred like that. So you realize that at the end of at the end of the month you have accumulated more of the money to your your savings account and you can actually not use that money for, for a particular reason why that, that you have to an emergency that you basically that you basically have. And then uh, of course we have also seen uh, people say what they call the total boxes. That you go there the bank will always have what they call a total savings box that where the kids while the kid is still young the, the kid keeps putting money there. People will come and visit the kid at home and then they give her five thousand, give her two thousand and the kid will run and drop that money in the in the box. Money keeps a total box. At the end of it all, you open, but should be a locker where a box where that you're not able to access that money because you may get really so constrained and you run to break the box. No, it should actually be a further that. The one also that we're aware of is um, what we call the village savings alone, uh, village savings alone associations. Now the village savings alone associations, what these are groups within the villages where people have really, have really, have really come together and then uh, I mean, uh, contributed money through their savings on a monthly basis or a daily basis. And so, 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 so this is uh, what we call the VLSA, village savings alone associations, where people come together within a particular community to be able to put money together and be able to help the members who are who are part of that group and give them some money to be able to meet their their needs and then your money as, as, as people keep borrowing within the group the money earns interest and so which means that the money that you you're putting there you're sending there is also adding interest and people keep borrowing so we have always this these groups are very very common and are quite a number of partners that are really supporting the development of this group then also we have now uh, what we call the circles we all we all have most of circles within our, within our group which also operate the same way like the VLS, but the other one are much more uh, formal and registered than the VLS Service Alone Association. The SAC also works the same way, like the VLS Service works, and almost closer to the way the bank also the bank will also be able to work because you can be able to, to save your money as well. SACO, a different way that I, I told you the other side using your mobile money payment, your SACO account. So you have an account with the SACO, and then you keep um, you keep you keep saving your money in your SAC account, and at the end of it, all we'll be able to still access some some more also, uh, from the SACO. Uh, the other one, the other source of course also where you can able to save money is uh, in the bank. We all know that uh, of course the bank is where you do you know, save your money as well. Where people have savings account, the bank will come and tell you we have savings account which you can actually use to save your money. And now the bank will offer quite a number of other services related to savings, and one by having that support main by having a savings account. At the same time also, the bank provides some options of fixing money, where you can you are really able to fix money for a particular period of time, and the bank will pay you a certain percentage of interest on your money. Let's say, for example, you're saving one million, one million, you're fixing one million, for a period of, let's say, six months, that you're saying, I have this money, but I want, uh, I want to fix it, because in six months, I expect to meet this kind of obligation. So instead of keeping this money in, in your house, you can actually take back and say, for this, I might use it, so let me give it to the bank, and the bank will fix it to the extent that I'm not able to access. Because fix simply means you won't be able to access that account until the period when uh, you have with the bank with an access. So if you are going to fix for one month, I mean six months, the bank will say, okay, we'll give you at 0.5% per annum. So which means when you fix your one million, you'll be able to earn 3.5% every, uh, every year. So for half of this, that will actually to say about 1.7, about 1.25%. I mean, that, that will actually be able to earn 1.7, 1.25% that will actually be able to earn uh, for the period of six months. So now when the period elapses, you go to the bank, then you can access your money plus the interest which you are going to the bank. Then you get your money and meet your own one and meet your obligation at that very particular moment in time. Um, also want us to, to a little bit uh, as, as we save money in, uh, in those uh, where, I mean also the other one also that we have, even in families, there are people who save as a family. That when a man uh, I mean a husband and a wife decide to say we are saving this money for for our kid to go back to school and so we are bring at the family that we save it like this and then 
set up someone where you can actually be able to save. So you can also be able to save as a family. The other way also where you can actually be able to save is currently we have gotten quite a number of products offered by insurance companies as well, where the insurance companies um, where the insurance companies provide such kind of savings to you, and then they will come to you and say, uh, we have this product. If you're planning, to, if you if you're getting your first child, and then not even a first child, any child, and you're saving, you're saying that in the next five years, this child will actually be able to go to school. And then you start saving, let's say, a partial amount of money for the five years, and immediately that child gets to start going to school, then the insurance company will start paying you a, a, a certain amount of money towards the education of that child. So that's also one of the new innovations also that um, are basically come, uh, come into, 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 the, into, the, um, into the savings world. However, I would like, uh, I would like us to a little bit um, actually save a little bit pay much attention to this um, thing called inflation. We all know that in, in general, inflation simply means a um, general increase in the prices of products and services or commodities in the, in, in, in the, in the economy. Now, it's, it's very, very important for you to match your savings, your, your return from savings, together with the inflation rate. I'll give for example, if the current inflation rate for Uganda is, let's say, 3%. Now, it's very, very important that as you save, it's very important for you to be mindful about this inflation rate. Otherwise, you will be either losing, you, will have, you might be losing money. Because if you say you have a savings account with the bank, now this inflation rate is per annum, can be per, per month. Of course, it keeps changing, it can be per month. And then you're going to, you're going to, you're, 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 you're going to a bank, and then the bank is giving you savings of 2% per annum. And yet this inflation rate, average inflation rate per annum is 3%. It simply means on every money that you put in your savings account, you are losing 1%. So always very, very key to, to try to understand the inflation rate. How are the prices in the, in, in, in the market? This is, for example, Matoki. We find, I mean, Matoki has gone Last month it was 25,000. This month it is 30,000. So it simply means there's inflation here that it's moving from 25 to 35. Now you really have to make sure that you can, you need to look at so that by the time you get your money to use, you're not coming, you're not going to come back and find that if you wanted to buy a car that you had planned that uh, I'll be able to save 1 million every month and then in, in, in a year I have 12 million. And this twelve million will be able to buy, will be able to buy a car, plus the interest that the bank has given you. You may realize if you're not if you're not very keen on inflation that by the time you get this twelve million, it is not able to buy a car, not able to buy a car. Simply means you've lost out what? You lost out money. But if you factor your if you factor your inflation, if you factor the cost of inflation in terms of interest, then instead of getting two, instead of losing one one percent of the money that you save, you're actually going to if you if you put it at three percent for a period of one year, then you likely you you, you you may get twelve million six hundred thousand. And you may find that the kind of the inflation rate there on average is three percent and it's sufficiently enough for you to meet. Uh, I mean, to, for, for you to achieve what you wanted to achieve. So always pay keen attention as you negotiate, um, as you negotiate for, as you save your money. Pay keen attention to inflation. Because you may save now, and by the time you get into using the money, the value for it is no longer what? It's no longer, it, it's, it's no longer the value it was then. So make sure that you be very, very keen to ensure that the value of your money does not, does not fear, I mean, that, 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 that don't fall below it is currently value right now. So be keen to inflation, which you are really basically saying, the general increase in the prices of commodities, products and services within the economy. To ensure that you do not, you do not get, uh, you do not fall out of what? Out of, out of, out of the economy, out of the business that you're basically going, out of the need that you, you want to achieve. Otherwise, that's that's one of the reasons why people will say, ah, no, but saving also doesn't really make. By the time I saved, I thought I'd get this. I got this, and by the time I got this money, it wasn't able to get what I wanted. Simply because you did not pay much attention to such kind of factors that are within the economy. Be keen to that to ensure that you you're really within and you can actually achieve the best out of your saving. Thank you very much. See you next time.